The First Woman Senator The Outlook, October 18, 1922 The appointment by Governor Hardwick of Georgia of Mrs. W. H. Felton to secede the late Thomas E. Watson as United States Senator has been praised as a fine tribute to a woman of undoubtedly exceptional ability and character. It has also been praised as a recognition of the present and coming power of women in the national political life. Is there not a third reason for the governor's action, that his beloved state should have the honor and the reclam of being the very first to name a woman as United States Senator? The love of large publicity is not confined to boom towns. Mrs. Felton seemed to recognize this when, in expressing her recognition of the honor, she said, England borrowed an American-born woman to accept a seat in the British Parliament, but noble old Georgia experienced no need to borrow, and she alone of the 48 states in the United States had a governor with courage to say so. Probably everyone understands that Senator Watson's unexpired term will be filled out by the man elected for that office on November 7th. Mrs. Felton, whose abilities even at the age of 87 are unquestioned, now holds the office titularly, but in all human probability will not be sworn in or take part in the Senate's deliberations. The compliment to her is a great one, but it is a compliment. Frankly, and with the highest respect for Senator Felton, there seems to be here a little of what baseball rooters call a grandstand play on the part of the governor, who, by the way, simultaneously announced himself as a candidate for the same office at the coming election. Mrs. Longstreet, widow of the famous general, in an article on Mrs. Felton's appointment, suggested that if President Harding would just call the Senate together for one week before election, Mrs. Felton could be sworn in, and that thus the President had a rare opportunity to offer a bouquet to millions of American women. On the whole, it doesn't seem to add to the dignity of the United States Senate to use it as an excuse for handing out bouquets. It wouldn't hurt the Senate, it has stood a lot and can stand more. But proffers of the office of senator are really not the best material to use in extending courtesies, even to so fine a person as Mrs. Felton.